Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing good. Friends, we visited Uti, also called as the cream of hill station. I'll show you the different places, the different points we visited in uh, Uti and we'll embark on the beautiful, breathtaking, exciting, rich culture of Uti. Still in the heart of Nilgiri's hills in Tamil Nadu. Together we'll immerse in the timeless beauty of Uti. The first place we visited was the Pine Forest. Pine Forest showcases its majestic woods, its charm and inviting pathway. Welcome to the enchanting pine forest where the towering trees and the sunlight creates a very magical atmosphere around us. Walking through these pine forests, you can't help but feel a sense of belonging and oneness with the Nature. This is a pine tree uprooted. Hundreds and thousands of uh, uh, pine trees around us. Pine trees uh, are the main uh, base for the paper industry. If you observe clearly, you can hear the voice of the birds so melodiously and also you can see squirrels jumping from one branch to another branch and you really will feel as if you know, you are so lucky to be in this place. So don't forget to wear comfortable shoes when you go there because the path can be a bit steep and then the fallen pines, uh, pine trees also will be there which will be so beautiful to sit and take selfies there but uh, wear comfortable shoes when you go there so after you complete the forest, pine forest you can see a beautiful lake there it's a very picturesque uh, scene where you can take pictures and selfies and uh, make uh, shots and um, enjoy your day Lights, camera, action. So why am I saying this? Because our next spot, what we visited was, it's called as point 0.5 and point 0.8. So this natural environment has served as a shooting spot for many, many movies. The most famous Hum Aapke Hai Kaun and Salman Khan's Mene Pyaar Kiya songs are also shot as this spot has served as a, as a uh, shooting spot for them. Grab your camera and you can start um, you know, taking mesmerizing photos in this uh, very very attractive spot. Our next stop was at the Paikara Lake. This lake is really a hidden gem in Uti. This lake offers a boat ride. You can uh, you can uh, go and book a variety of uh, boats there. It, it may be a speed boat or a boat for four people or eight people. So whatever uh, your budget, you can book it. And then this this lake also offers a scenic uh, picnic spots. Also, 
also a rejuvenating uh, spot for nature lovers and adventure seekers. ride uh, in this park in this lake rather uh, surrounded by hills and uh, forest you will feel that the stress and worries in your mind melt away During this boat ride, you should keep your camera ready. So, because you'll encounter with colorful birds and uh, naughty monkeys running around monkeys, so you can capture life. This will be one place which you will always cherish. Our next stop was at uh, Kunu. En route to Kunu, we stopped at a place called as Madras Regiment Center Museum. When you enter this place, enter the gates of this Madras Regiment Center, you will find you will feel a kind of pride and honor in your in your heart. Inside the museum, photography was not allowed. So what is there inside is fully displayed. The walls are displayed with pictures and uh, the old uniforms and and videos recorded everything of the past which you can read, you can watch and you can enjoy, experience the past. Go around and see these, these pictures and uh, videos, you will understand a glimpse of our soldiers sacrifices in honor of our country. As we bid farewell to this esteemed institution, we also went round the garden which is also connected to this um, museum. From there we could see a beautiful view of uh, one part of Kunu. Our next stop was at the Sims Park. Uh, so there are four major parks uh, in Uti. One is the Rose Garden and Botanical Garden, Karnataka Garden and Sims Park. So our first stop was at Sims Park. through this uh, park you can see this park is very uh, creative and very de decorative and you can hear uh, uh, water uh, sound also so as you keep going end of the park there is a small lake where again you can take a boat and you can have a small boat ride also and complete the walk <music> As I told you, you have to wear comfortable shoes because it is a big park, you have to walk around a lot in this park. Our next stop was at the Karnataka Garden. So it's a new garden started in 1996. As you enter 
to the gates of this uh, Karnataka garden, you are greeted with the fragrance of uh, flowers and the symphony of colors. Beautiful variety of colors. the rose garden you will be really mesmerized by the fragrance and the colors around you this garden was established to showcase karnataka's um, diversity and Karnataka's rich culture so it will not disappoint you so when you go around and see it they delight to your eyes as you walk through this uh, garden Karnataka garden you will not be disappointed so there are especially when there are themed sections where there are medicinal uh, plants and uh, herbs traditional herbs displayed and um, grown there a long walk in this park so it's not possible to go in one go so there are a lot of places where you can sit and relax and enjoy the nature and then continue your walk last stop was at the government botanical garden established in 1848 and spread over 55 acres this was established by the britishers in the 19th century uh, aimed at promoting uh, various plants and flowers to the public Attraction of this garden is the glass house. Twin Terrace, Toda Hill, the most important fossil tree. taken there for a one day trip many companies go there for a one day trip for the get together lunch get together so when you sit there and see all this thing happy atmosphere where children are playing group of IAPA company people are there and school children have come there and when you sit there and see that you feel kind of a happiness in your heart called as uh, the Dabetta peak and uh, we stopped only for a while because the by then we were too tired because we had to climb up a lot of steps and then we go up onto the steps we can have a view there's a we can have a full view of one part of Uti. Mm -hmm. 
unforgettable and memorable experience for us so if you have if it's a family vacation or a romantic getaway so you can plan a weekend uh, trip to uti and come back fully rejuvenated and energetic and um, feel happy so i hope you like my video as much as i like my trip so please continue to support me and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you and take care